Welcome back to Math Smash. In this lesson, we'll learn how we can use addition to help us work out the difference between two numbers. Our learning target today is using addition to calculate the difference between two numbers. So our vocabulary words for today are number line, count on, difference, ones, tens, units, subtraction, sets of ten, and frog hops. To begin with, let's have a look at our vocabulary words. Count on. This means the same thing as addition. You simply count on from the number you're on already. The word difference is another word for subtraction or taking away, and it simply means how much bigger one number is than the other number. Ones, also called units, are the same thing. They are the smallest whole number you can have. Tens? when you have a set of 10 units or 10 ones. Subtraction means the same as difference. It also means count back or it can mean take away. So let's get to our first problem, our first question. Here uh, we have a simple question which says, what is the difference between 17 and six? Well, to start with, make sure you understand what the question is asking you. In this particular case, it's asking how much bigger is 17 than 6. Remember the word difference. Okay, so now that we understand what we're being asked, the next step is to write the question as a number sentence. For our purposes right now, remember that the bigger number always comes first in a takeaway or subtraction number sentence. So, which of these two numbers is bigger? 6 or 17? If you said 17, then you're correct. So 17 is going to be the first number in our number sentence. On the other hand, if you said 6, this isn't quite right because, as I said earlier, you have to pick the largest of the two numbers. So 17 or 6. And since 6 is smaller than 17, it can't be the first number in our number sentence. The next thing you need to do is to write the takeaway or count back symbol like this. So if we read our number sentence now, it says 17 subtract, mm, but now we need to finish our number sentence with the number we are going to count back with, which in this case is six. Let's check our number sentence. Now we have 17 subtract 6. Remember that subtract also means difference. So we could read this number sentence as saying, what is the difference between 17 and 6? All right, now we have to draw our number line. Remember to always use a ruler if you have one. I suggest putting a dot on the left side of the number line like this. Then put another dot at the right end of the number line like this and then an arrow after the dot to show your number line goes on forever. You should do this for both ends of the number line. So to work out our answer, we will use this number line and frog hops along the number line. We have our number line and we have a dot at both ends of our arrow, uh, at both ends and an arrow on the left and the right. Now. We look at the number sentence to see what number we will place on the number line first. I see 17 is the first number in our number sentence, and I know that 17 is bigger than 6, so I know that I have to place the 17 below the dot on the right, over here. Remember, numbers on a number line go from left to right, and numbers get bigger as we move from left to to right. Now we place the 6 under the dot on the left. Now we just count up from 6 until we get to 17. In this example I'm going to count up in ones, but if you feel comfortable with maths you might feel like you would like to choose to do hops of larger or different sizes. That's fine. We started our 6 here Every time our frog hops, we draw his hop. How big his hop was and where he landed, like this. I make a little jump on my number line, like this. 
and I write plus one and I write down the number my frog has landed on. And I write that number under the number line. Every time the frog hops to the new number, you have to write where he lands on the number line. This is a big help when you're trying to work out the answer. So in this case, we make a jump of one and I landed on seven. Then we have another hop of one and I write plus one and I've landed on eight. And I've done another hop and I write plus one and I land on the number nine. Now I'm just going to carry on like this until I get to 17 and you can do the same. Once you've hopped all the way to number 17, all you do then is add up all the hops. In this case, because we're jumping by one, it'll be pretty straightforward. You just add up all the hops one at a time. Pause the video here and see what you come up with. And we'll compare our answers. Okay, here's my working out. As you can see, I have my hops shown along the size, along with the size of the hops and what number I've landed on. I now add each of these hops. So one plus one plus one plus one and so on makes, what did you come up with? Well, I came up with 11. So now I can finally write my answer to the number sentence here. 17 subtract six is 11. Using this frog hops method we've just done, pause the video and try working out these two questions for practice. First one is, what is the difference between 21 and 18? And the second question is, what is the difference between 35 and 29? Now pause the video and restart the video when you're ready to check your work. Okay, how did you do? I bet you did great. For this first question, what is the difference between 21 and 18? The number sentence I created is 21, take away or subtract 18. If your number sentence looks different, you may have forgotten to write the largest number first. Here is the number line I created. You can see I have 18 on the left under the dot and 21 on the right under the dot and then my arrow. You can see that I went up in hops of one each time, writing the size of the hop and the number I have landed on. I can add up all of the hops of one, and I found that I had three hops. So the answer to the number sentence, 21 subtract 18, will be three. So the difference between 21 and 18 is three. Let's have another look at the next question. What is the difference between 35 and 29. Okay, once again, the number sentence I created is 35 take away 29. Here's the number line I created. You can see I have 29 on the left under the dot and 35 on the right under the dot and then my arrow. You can see that I went up in hops of one each time, writing the size of the hop and the number I've landed on. I can add up all the hops of one and I found that I had six hops altogether. So the answer to the number sentence 35 take away 29 is going to be 6. So the difference between 35 and 29 is 6. Okay, I hope you have found this helpful. Please subscribe and give this video a like.